if I heard correctly out there, you said you want to slash the gas tax in half and still fund roads. Yes. How do you do that? Well, after 260 passed, what I realized after doing a lot of research that a lot of those funds, new taxes to the people of Colorado, are being put into different buckets of money that don't fix the roads. I don't believe the people of Colorado understand that. But what I'm more concerned about is the EPA 179B determination letter that Jared Polis has not submitted that will raise our the cost of gas 51 cents a gallon because we'll be required to use blended fuel. That is not okay. Right now, people are suffering in Colorado. They need to be able to afford gas and raising the gas, the cost of gas by 51 cents a gallon because Jared Polis didn't want to submit the science to the EPA is tragic. The 260 comment, would you keep the other fees in place to fund, like if you're going to cut the gas tax, would the other fees stay in place from 260? We'll talk about that as we go forward, but my intention, my goal is to put more money back into the people of Colorado's pockets, and we're going to do that by cutting the gas tax in half and still fixing the roads, which I'm experiencing all over the state traveling, meeting voters across Colorado, and the roads are a huge issue, something I hear about all the time and experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Now the follow-up. Similar topic, income tax, you say you want 0% income tax. Same idea. You do that, what's getting cut or where is the money coming from? So Marshall, my intention is to put more money back into the pockets of the people of Colorado. One of the ways we can do that is take us to zero income tax. We can do it at about 1% a year over my first term, a little bit more than that if you average it out. We've got to tighten our belt. We've got to reduce the size of government. Jared Polis has added almost 4,000 full-time employees equivalents into the government. He's grown the size of government by over 20%. That's one way we can reduce the cost. The other way is to attract new business. The five top performing economies in states across the United States are zero income tax states. It is absolutely beneficial to the state of Colorado to do so. We also need to affect fraud and waste. There's plenty of that to go around and some of the pull is pork that he's added in as governor. Finally, special interests and favors. That's something we've got to address as well as he um, talked about with Disney. Something like that is not okay for the people of Colorado and for the small business owners who are really hurting right now. The five states, I think, have higher property taxes and higher state sales tax, so would you be for that? I have no intention of raising other taxes in order to accomplish this goal. I'm a governor, I will be a governor, who has big, bold ideas for our state. I'm tenacious, I'm a leader, I've had a lot of experience. I manage a $5 billion budget at CU. I help do that as a region. I will roll up my sleeves and get this done for the people of Colorado.